Welcome back everyone. It's another Lenovo video. Today we're going to be installing the Corsair IQ H100i Elite um, Capellix. I guess, I don't know how you spell it. It's got IQ, it does RGB, it's a water cooler, 240 millimeters, and this is Jeff the IT guy. You know me, I'm always trying to upgrade these pre-builts to see, you know, where their flaws are. If you've seen the last video, you'll know that the major flaw in this machine is the motherboard, but we're gonna go ahead and install this water cooler and see how well it does, see what our temperatures are, and to even see if it works, because that's what we're trying to do. Lenovo claims that this is an upgradable machine. So far, you're, uh, you can upgrade pretty much your storage and that's about it. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna install this bad boy. So the first thing we need to do is flip this on its side and get up close so you can see what's going on. All right, so I went ahead and took off the front panel and the back panel. So first thing we're gonna do is we're going to remove the stock cooler. Just, you know, unscrew it from side to side or whatever in a diagonal shape. It's not a bad looking cooler. I mean, it's like, it says it's rated for 150 watts. I don't know. I don't know what it's rated for. Y'all have to go watch uh, Steve Burke or whatever his name is from Gamers Nexus. He's, he's smarter than I am when it comes to, to wattage. But, you know, it's got a 120 millimeter fan. It's a tower cooler. It's a little bit smaller um, than a, a Hyper 212. I'll tell you what would be cool. I'm trying to fit like a dark rock in here. I wonder if that would work. Probably not. So we're just gonna take this off and then we're gonna clean up the thermal material so that we can see where we stand. Okay. All right. And it's got RGB, so it's routed all the way into the middle of nowhere. Wow. Okay. Why, Lenovo, why would you do that? Hold on, I gotta flip this thing over and try and hunt down this stupid cable. These guys, man, these guys. All right, one second. I gotta get my trusty electrician shears or whatever they are. This is what you all need right here. You need to buy like a hundred of these. These are um, Klein like electrician shears or something, snippers. We used to use them all the time when I installed fiber and stuff and they just, they just work fantastic. So we're gonna go ahead and get rid of that. Who needs that? All right, boom, it's out. Check it, that's, what, that's how big it is. It's not very big at all. Okay, so let's turn it back over. Let's look at our CPU. It's not a bad thermal job. Not a bad thermal job at all. We're gonna clean it up though. We are going to use these Noctua uh, NACW1 cleaning wipes. I've used these on this channel for years and they're awesome. They just, you go on there and you go boom, boom, boom. Wipe it up, no more thermal paste. Biggity boom. They're fantastic. Here's what they look like, you know? Good deal. All right, so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna see if we can take off this back plate. Now, if you've seen the, the HP, um, you would know that this thing, the thirds was on there using a form of adhesive. And it looks like this one probably is too. I'm gonna open up the cooler. And it may be that we can reuse this back plate. I don't know, we're gonna find out. Tell you what, that looks pretty close. I don't think we're gonna have to change the back plate. I'm gonna see if these screws will screw in the standoffs 
and uh, we'll see how it goes. Assuming I quit dropping everything. Let's see. We may get away with it. That would be great. All right. I think it's the ones you're going to need are the Intel 1150X, 1200 ones. Okay. Let's flip this back over. All right, y'all be uh, y'all be praying or something. All right, so they look like this. Let's see if they screw in. If they screw in, we might be in business. Make sure there's not a different size. Nope. Why would they? All right. Give me a second. I'm going to try and get this thing off. Don't know if I've ever been so disappointed in my life. Taking back everything, every nice thing I ever said about this computer. I'm taking it back. Every nice thing. It, uh, you're not going to be able to get that back plate off. There's no way. It is. It's on there. I mean, it is on there. So, what we're going to have to do, put the old cooler back on. See if this bad boy lives another day. But I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to fix it. We're going to fix this machine one time and for all with a new motherboard. So, when we come back, we're going to put a new motherboard in this.